Okay, what's up everybody? I hope you had a Merry Christmas, because I certainly did. And today we're going to talk about one of my favorite Christmas presents from this year. Because I'm a child and I can't really buy stuff on launch, so... I don't know why people keep saying that. It's the Nintendo Switch! There's a better view of that. This is going to be mostly a hardware review, as it's not really like I can show the Breath of the Wild in here without getting copyright claimed. But I will show you how the uh, <clears throat> software kind of works, just a little bit. But like I said, mostly hardware overview, so let's get started. I'm not usually one of those box people that takes a look at the box and goes over every single part of it. But I must say, I really do like this box here. Uh, it's nice and colorful. It tells you what the console is all about. And it just looks nice, and you don't really get uh, console boxes like that anymore. It's just nice. So, like, you have on the front, it's like you're playing on TV. And so, you, you can understand all, all that you can do with this from the box. You know, you got multiple people playing, playing on the go, you know, with its stand kicked out in the controller. When you're, well, this is a bigger version of when you got it in the mobile mode. And, um, some more pictures. And it's just bright and colorful and really nice looking. And on the bottom here, got a bunch of techno mumbo jumbo but it also tells you what you get in the box which i will promptly show you all right are you guys ready to see the console three two one Ta -da! here we go this is it people this is the nintendo switch you've got right here also included are these and we'll get to that these are the wrist straps so like i said this is going to be mainly a uh, hardware review not really the software um, so let's just go ahead and take a look at what you get in the box. It also comes with the HDMI cable and power cable, but I'm guessing you guys didn't really want to see that. I'm pretty sure that I read somewhere that the HDMI cable is actually the same one they used in the Wii U, but I can't. I'm not positive on that. You can look it up if you want to look it up. But, uh, here you go. This is the main, this is the main event we got right here. So, uh, first let's take a look at this part right here. And this is the dock. And this little guy, this is what you're going to use when you're playing on the TV. So, you plug this into your TV. And let's say you're playing with it. All you got to do is scratch. Almost, just slot it in there like that. Give it like two, about two seconds. It'll just turn on. Um... It's so not too much to see here. Looks nice. It's got that nice Nintendo feel. It's got this light on to tell you if it's uh, on or not. USB ports here on the side. I, that's where the wired controller's going. If you buy a wired controller, this flips up back here. So you got your uh, AC adapter, which is um, is, which is a USB C. So you can actually just buy that in stores. Uh, you don't actually have to buy a Nintendo product to actually charge this. Uh, HDMI out and another USB slot, which you don't really get anything to play on the console. This is the main console itself. It's about the size of a regular tablet. Really chunky and thick. This thing could stand up to stuff. This isn't like an iPad where you drop it and it's destroyed. Now, you shouldn't go dropping it around, but it is pretty resilient. It's got this nice back black on here. Um, it's got this kickstand, which most people say isn't the best. It isn't, but it, I just don't really think it's supposed to be, you know? It's just supposed to be a little tiny feature they put in there. So when you're playing on hard surfaces like a table or something, you know, you can kick it up. And they sell, Hori makes a kickstand, and they just didn't want something super uh, brittle or, or something that if you put it in the wrong way, it would just completely snap in two and you couldn't bat it back on. Got a headphone jack up here at the top. You can use Bluetooth headphones, but I'm old-fashioned, so I don't really care. I just use the wired Apple headphones. Up here at the top is the place where you put the game cartridges. Of course, I've got uh, Breath of the Wild, because it's a flagship game, and that's actually really fun. Let's just shoot. Let's see if we can put that back in there. Um, you get the power button and this night and these nice volume switches up here. Very clicky, very nice. And um, I just really like the way this thing looks. There's not too much to see here, but 
you know, it's, it's a nice looking thing. Um, when you want to go into handheld mode, you just take this, you take the controller pieces, and you just slot them in there like that. And let's put these in here. That's what it looks like. Exciting. Nice size screen. You can get a lot of play to this. The screen is plastic, not glass, so it won't shatter. We'll get a lot of, uh, it may scratch, and that's something you got to be careful with. And it'll attract fingerprints, like, no more, even more than glass will. But honestly, it, it, it's fine. It's better than it's plastic. I think it should have been plastic. I think it's basically a tank. These are the Joy-Cons. Fantastic little things. You don't want to lose these, though, because these, new set of these cost $80, and they're about $35 separately but we're gonna go over the controller real quick analog sticks are nice don't have too much travel click in the triggers are not analog like the ps4 or the xbox one so you can't be playing like a driving game and press lighter or more in to go faster or slower a home button here so you can go directly back to the home screen this is really cool screenshot button you just press that button anywhere take a screenshot and i'll show you that uh in just a minute no D-pad on this controller, which I found weird at first, but um, I feel more precise using this anyway. And it, it just feels more precise, in my opinion. Very comfortable, much better than the Wii remotes. Um, and they are much more accurate in the motion control sense than the Wii remotes, and that's great. Uh, just flat on the bottom. And you have these two buttons, so when you slot them in somewhere, you just push these up, pull out. If you're playing two players, you don't have to do this, but... Um, when you turn on the side, they got these shoulder buttons here, which aren't horrible, but, you know, they're not necessarily the best either. But you take these uh, wrist straps here. So if you're playing a game like, um, say, 1-2 Switch, some of the games require these wrist straps and those don't and stuff. And uh, you can turn it into a nice, uh, basically, Super Nintendo controller. It's really nice. I thought this was I thought the controller was going to be much bigger at first, and I thought it would be really uncomfortable to have to stretch your fingers. But it's really not a big deal. A little kid can handle this. It's it's a fantastic little remote here. It's a it's a great, great, great controller. If you want to play like Splatoon or Zelda or you know any game that you know requires uh, a more uh, how do I say this um, traditional like shooter type control. Uh, control scheme and this also comes with the console and you can buy one separately that charge the joy cons but the joy cons have a pretty good battery life so it doesn't matter but these this is the uh grip and um all it is is you just stick it in here and it fits in there like that but it makes it really comfortable and it's just it's just a nice thing to have it looks nice for some reason it reminds me of like the inkling's head in Splatoon, don't ask me why, but it just does. That's really all there is to say about the controllers, the dock, and the Switch itself. Um, and I, I really just really like the way this console is. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm not going to show the screen. I'm not going to show the game screen, but I will pull this up for you here so you can at least see some of the features. Uh, you can still make a me on this. I'm not gonna get into that. That's in the that's you do that by going to user settings and stuff. But um let's click in here. This is the home screen. So when you when it's sleeping or when it's turned off, this will be the first screen that comes up. Let's press A to get in there. And um as you can see we can turn the volume up here. These aren't actually my games, so I'm not that rich. I got Zelda, and Zelda is a fantastic game. That's really all you need. It, you can you can play a long time with Zelda. Not gonna get into that though. But so this is yeah, this is the main thing. Not really too complicated. You can go down here and put it in sleep mode. Here's your system settings. This is where you can manage your controllers. Nintendo eShop. There's no virtual console yet, but that's gotta come out sometime. You can buy you can buy certain Nintendo arcade games now under the Ar arcade archives. Um, moniker, and you can get like the Super Mario Brothers versus, and you can get Mario Bros. Uh, it's really nice. And the one thing that I've been leaving off is this down here. This is what I'm going to show you. So when you take a screenshot, 
And I'll just demonstrate that right here. Let's press this button. Okay, well, you can't press it in here, but, um, yeah, so as you can see, you can take screenshots, and, um, I'm not gonna go into them, because once again, I do not want to get copyright claimed, but, uh, yeah, this is really about all there is to say. Touch screen, really nice touch screen. Um, yeah, it's, it's a nice little thing. Um, and honestly, for $300, you get your money's worth, because with this, you don't have to buy a home console and a portable console. Battery life is about three to four hours. Not the best, but honestly, you're getting console quality games here, and I think getting a console quality game for about four hours is nice. Not to mention, you can just bring a battery pack now, and if you're in the car, they actually sell a battery charger, which is, it's, it's just a, it's a nice little package here for $300. You get everything you need besides a game, and the game's... They are expensive, but I feel like you get your money's worth with almost all the games. Also, one two switches in this past people say this, but I'm not going to get that. Get, I'm not going to get into that right now. This has been the Nintendo Switch. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this review or you found it helpful. Um, I really, I really like the Switch. Uh, if you want more videos like this, you tell me in the comments below or like this video. If you like uh, videos like this, or uh, you've seen some of my other videos, I please urge you to subscribe. I, I think, I think you're one of the smart ones. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.